Yes. Now, just Governor Abubakar Sanibelo has identified corrupt practices in the tax system as responsible for poor revenue generation in the state. He says the state is expected to generate a monthly internal revenue of 3 billion naira, but currently generates a little over 500 million naira. Chenemi Bame, he has more. In the 2023 appropriation bill presented by the Niger State Governor Abubakar Sanibelu, the expected internally generated revenue was pegged at 22.5 billion naira. The trend of growth in the state's economy shows a wide gap that needs to be covered for this to be attained. In 2020, the total IGR was 10.52 billion naira, and in 2021, there was an increase of 50.54% adding over 5 billion naira to what was generated in 2020 to arrive at 15.8 billion. In a meeting with the executives of the Niger State Chamber of Commerce, the governor attributes a low increase to loopholes in the taxation system. He complains that so many businesses operating in the state are not captured in the database, making it difficult to enforce taxation. And there is no reason why we cannot generate 3 billion monthly. But two things, one, there is corruption and two, there is unseriousness, which I think corruption is a tradition and part of our culture here. We have tried every way. Anybody you bring is the same. Is the same, and is 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 unfortunate. Um, if you look at the businesses, if every business was to pay a fair share, I don't think we'd be relying in uh, federal allocation from federal government. And with that, we're able to fix our schools, we're able to fix our infrastructure, we're able to support businesses. Sir, so it will test you to know that our members we make sure they pay their, they pay their respective taxes, like the E, even the secretarial to the chamber. We also impress it on our members <coughs> to pay whatever taxes is due to them, which is their civil responsibility to the state. In order to boost the internally generated revenue in the state, Plans are underway to transform the Gurara waterfalls into a world-class tourism, agricultural, educational and cultural resort. Governor Bello has received the final master plan from the consulting architectural firm. Already, some investors have indicated interest, but there is need to go through the master plan with them to allow them make inputs in the plan in line with their investment profile. And um, we're hoping that, yes, the project will start Hopefully early next year, the groundbreaking. El Van Gas commends the governor for the vision to develop the waterfalls and is optimistic that the project will be a delight to all. Chanemibami, TVC News, Mina.